So a great series this weekend. Um, what's the what's the status with uh, Josh George? Uh, George McKenna have X-rays today. Uh, don't know their prognosis. Probably, I would think they'd be out for a long time. That'd be my guess. But we'll see. We'll see what the X-rays show and and go on from there. Now, did it look like a dislocated shoulder on the field? Or? Yeah, I think he came out. He, yeah. had, he had a surgery, I think, on the same shoulder in high school. Gotcha. Uh, well, this is like a great series this weekend. What did you tell the team after you won? Well, I mean, just try to learn some lessons. We, you know, we were given an opportunity to to one win the series, and we did that on Saturday. And then we had a chance to, you know, with, with a, a win on Sunday, we would we would push uh, Santa Barbara another game behind us, and we would you know, move on up with with Fullerton. So. That's what we did. It was great, and and just the the way we were able to kind of hang in there and and win a one run ball game at home, um, you know, said a lot. So we we overall we had a great week. I mean, we, we started off on Tuesday by being Fresno State, uh, who has a very good team, and then Santa Barbara, you know, nationally ranked team. Um, so it, it was it was good, but you know, sometimes it comes at a cost too. I mean, we, we were without McKenna the whole weekend and. And now it looks like we'll we'll be without uh, George for I would think an extended period of time. Who stepped up uh, without Alex? Uh, just kind of uh, everybody as a whole. I mean, everybody kind of did their their job. You, you had your your Constance, which is Barbier. He's he's been good the, the entire season. John Shutnik really had a good week. Uh, John provided you know some some power in the middle of the lineup, uh, but. You know, we had quality starting pitching all three games. We were really good out of the bullpen. Played good defense outside of Sunday early on, which, which we, we uh, made a couple of errors. Uh, and then hitting-wise, I mean, we, we probably swung the bat better than we had all season against a, a quality pitching staff. Now, did you expect this much success against Santa Barbara, or was it kind of a shock to you? No, I mean, you, you expect to win every game. You just You just don't know. You know how your team's going to perform. You know each and every game. So, um, we, you know we, Friday was was uh, about as good as we can play. We played airless ball, um, swung the bat against one of the the best pitchers uh, in, in the West Coast, and pitched extremely well. And then it it carried over into Saturday, and then Sunday we had enough. We played hard and and uh, had enough to. You know, come out with a, a series sweep, and it put us in a good position. So, uh, you know, three conference series down, five to go. But we, you know, we we go now to Long Beach State, which is a difficult place to play. Then the following weekend, we go to Northridge, another difficult place to play. So, you know, the Reds, the road is still uh, very difficult ahead of us. And you know, if we're not at full strength, it just makes it that much more difficult. Coach, last time we talked, I said. <coughs> Guys are eight games above 500. And you're doing well, all this sort of stuff. And you said your record was a little misleading. Yeah. That once conference play start, things change, so on and so forth. Um, you know, you guys haven't lost the series yet. Are you playing? You know, are, are, is your team at where you want them to be? Well, yeah, we're we're playing about as well as we can. I mean, we we opened up uh, conference play, you know, with Fullerton at home, and and we're able to to win the series there. Went to Hawaii, difficult place to play. Won that series, and then. You know, against Santa Barbara, uh, you know, we didn't know what to expect out of our team, and we played about as well as we could, especially on Friday, where um, you know we we swung the bat as as good as we have all season against maybe one of the best pitchers we face all season. He's as good as anybody out here in the West. Uh, played airless ball, which seems to be a, a common denominator in, in our success, and then uh, pitched extremely well. So the entire weekend, we. We had great starting pitching. We were pitched very, very well out of the bullpen. Uh, had good matchups out of the bullpen. Uh, played airless ball on Friday, Saturday. Made a couple of miscues early on Sunday. Uh, and then uh, swung the bat probably as good as we can swing it. So had contributions out of a number of, of offensive players. And just kind of uh, from a defensive standpoint, pitching standpoint, we just kind of minimized our, you know, uh, our deficiencies and, and didn't they didn't really show that much so um, Friday and Saturday's game we, we, we came out and 
uh, we're, we're, we're pretty dominant. And then Sunday was a, a, you know, a close contested ball game. And that's usually how all Big West you know, conference games are. So, and it doesn't matter if you're playing the number one team or the, the last place team. They're all you know, um, hard fought wins. And, and if you make too many mistakes, you're just giving a quality team too many opportunities. Uh, but okay, so, so so do you feel where your guys' record is now and how you guys are playing that it that it demonstrates how how well you guys are doing? Uh, yeah, I, I I never know. I mean, we can continue to play better, um, you know. And I, I don't pay too much attention to the rankings or anything like that. I mean, that we're now in one of the polls, the top. I think we're 19 in the collegiate baseball, but it, it's more so just. Trying to better ourselves on a on a daily basis, on a game by game basis, and there's a lot of areas that we need to continue to get better in, and just some of the the, the smaller points of the game. Um, but it, it's it's where we want to be. <clears throat> um, you know, we're, we're basically outside of the Tuesday midweek games. We're, we're done with non conference, and we're we're strictly conference from now on. And to have won a series against Fullerton, against Hawaii, and against Santa Barbara. You're taking three of the better teams uh, right off the bat and having success against them. So it's where we want to be, uh, but we know we have a, a long way to go. And we play, you know, in the next couple of series on the road at some uh, difficult places to play against some quality uh, uh, ball ball teams. So uh, we'll see. We're just worried about well, you know, we're worried about tomorrow night's game at Cal, and then uh, then we'll we'll get ready for Long Beach State. Uh, <clears throat> with such a young team. You know, uh, uh, as as a as a coach, do you do you sometimes get a sense that there might be some overconfidence? They might feel like they're invincible, having defeated some of these top teams in in conference. Is there a, is, you know, is 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 there a sense of cockiness that that you might be afraid of that these guys feel they might be invincible a little bit? Well, I mean, there's a fine line between you know being confident and being overconfident, and you know, I tell them don't don't. Believe their press clippings, and you know, they they get the message that uh, there's a reason why they're successful, and, and and it's 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 through hard work, and it's through fundamentals, and it's it's playing harder than the other team, and there's a lot of little things, uh, messages that that uh, we try to put across to our team, you know, on a daily basis, and uh, I hope they don't get overconfident because you know we're you know. Four weeks ago, we weren't a very good ball club, and uh, as of late, we've played well. But that could go south at any time. So, uh, you talked about Brett, how consistent he's been. Kind of go into that a little bit more. Uh, what he's done this year, and and you talk about needing bats, and, and he seems to provide. Well, when your when your so-called best player is successful, then it allows everybody else uh, to relax and just you know accept their roles. And he's been our our number three hitter the the entire year. He's uh, been very versatile. He's he's played a number of games for first base. Now we had to put him out in left field because McKenna uh, is hurt. Uh, he's caught for us. So he just he he, he brings a, a lot of uh, key components on the field. But he's also basically our leader of our team and and helps uh, get across you know my message to the team. And when it comes from a player, it just means that much more. So. Uh, you know, one, we're lucky to have him. Two, uh, it's great that he's having a successful year because now when he talks, I mean, you know, players listen. They understand what the message is. And with he and Shootnick and uh, Kyle Smith, those guys uh, have a big impact on the team, not just on the, the physical side, but on the mental side and, and what they say in practice and in games and what is accepted. And I think. I think after the the series, uh, Shudnik, uh, I think uh, said the last word is is that uh, to the entire group is, is this is what's expected of you. So don't think that it, it's uh, uh, something that's out of the ordinary. This is what you uh, are here for. This is the results that we're supposed to have. And so when it comes from a player, that's the message that it's it's very meaningful and it's very powerful. That's cool. Uh, Long Beach, uh, on the road. You know, you, you're coming off obviously this yeah. great win against Santa Barbara. You know, what do they do well, and you know, what what are you kind of expecting out of them? Well, they they kind of do everything well now. I mean, they they, they pitch well. They always have. It's a, it's a pitcher's ballpark, Blair Field. They they move the fences in a little bit, but it's still uh, 
a pitcher's field. You have the, the breeze blowing off the ocean. Um, they play very, very good defense, and now, as of late, they're starting to really swing the bats. So, uh, and it, it's, it's, it's always been a kind of a difficult place to play. Now, more than likely, we'll go down there without two of our, our starters in the lineup offensively. And that's, that makes a big impact. So we're just looking for, for the right combinations, uh, a couple of other guys to step up and, and contribute and to you know, allow us the best opportunity to, to win a ball game. Yeah, talk about those injuries, not necessarily uh, on, on the individuals, but just having two of your starters out for X amount of yeah. weeks, however long it might be. Uh, you know, do you feel like you got the clientele to kind of fill those roles and, and you guys might, might not miss a beat as much as you uh, hope you don't? No, I think we're pretty thin. We're, we were pretty thin without them, and now, now losing those two, we, we really get thin. So uh, we'll see. I mean, that's why you, you work hard and practice on a daily basis. And, and you, you talk about before the season that you never know when your name is called, but if it's called, you better be ready. And so, you know, there's going to be a couple of opportunities for a couple of different people to, to hopefully step up and contribute and to, you know, uh, allow us the best possible opportunity to win ball games. Thank you, Coach. Cool.